Hey everybody, you've heard Buck and I talk about them. You've seen them on Just Killing Time. I am here in beautiful Floyd, Virginia with Eldon Yoder, the premier dealer for the state of Virginia, maybe even the entire country for Heatmaster Outdoor Furnaces. Eldon, thanks for taking some time this morning. I'm glad to, good uh, to meet you. Not, likewise, I, beautiful place you got here. I can't believe the selection y'all have here on the lot. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of furnaces and today, you're gonna to explain to us what makes Heatmaster the premier outdoor furnace right now on the market, correct? Yes, be glad to. So a lot of our customers are unfamiliar with outdoor wood furnaces and wonder how it works. And I use this cutaway, it shows to explain how this system works. This, you can see the firebox here and a water jacket surrounds all that. The control on the furnace opens a damper here, draws air in through the air channels, through the fuel load, down through a nozzle and a brick in the floor. It blows that, this, that fuel air mixture down into this 2000 degree brick in the bottom. It mixes and reburns. That, that's how Heatmaster gets its really efficient, clean burn. Then it comes around the brick and out through the exhaust tubes and it'll go from that 2000 degrees up to about 300 degrees before it goes out through the exhaust fan and out the chimney. So efficiency wise, this is night and day better than what we've had in the past. Um, I've been very pleased with how this works. So here I'd like to show you a few of the unique features of the Heatmaster G-Series furnaces. Um, like I said earlier, they're downdraft wood burning furnaces. So they do burn very hot, very clean down here in this um, brick. The, um, but some of the unique features they have, they have a smoke bypass. If you open the bypass, the exhaust fan or the furnace will pull the smoke away from you when you load it. You don't get a face full of smoke. And then you can get in there and load with your wood, shake it around. Um, the G-Series furnaces now come with a sight glass where you can watch the flame and the reburn. That's kind of a neat, unique thing a lot of guys like to watch and it actually can inform you a little bit on how it's burning, the, how rich the fuel air mixture is. Um, one of the, 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 I think one of the favorite things I like about the G-Series is the vertical heat exchange tube have spirals in the, inside the heat exchange tubes and there's a shaker handle on these tubes that that lift the, two, the spirals up and down to knock the ash out of the bottom. And that saves a lot of brushing and work that some of the older models would have had. Um, so this furnace, they really worked hard to try to make it simple where you can load it, shake the spirals, and you're done. So a lot of people that are familiar with an indoor stove are used to adjusting dampers and there's a fairly large learning curve. Um, with the G-Series furnace, it has a control that will give you a readout of the water temperature and the percentage of damper motor and this is completely automatic so it's just there for your information it's not something that you would have to adjust um, unless you wanted to it is adjustable um, but there's a damper on the front here so behind this cover there's a damper that the contr control activates it's running at 100 percent air damper now as the water temperature rises it dampers closed and when it gets up to 180 degrees it shuts completely off so the furnace doesn't boil so there's, it's completely automatic. It's not like an indoor stove that you have to adjust and fiddle with and, and learn over time. Um, this is completely automatic. You load it and it runs itself. So let's look in the back of this Heatmaster G-Series furnace. We're looking at the back of the water tank. You know, remember how I described how it heats water? Um, and in the storage, this furnace holds 100 gallons of water. This circulation pump here pumps in on the red line through insulated lines underground, comes back on the blue. That circulates continuously to supply hot water into the building that you're heating. Um, if you're wondering what this pump does, this is a recirculation pump. All the G-Series furnaces come with that pump to stir the tank to keep the top and bottom of the tank in even temperature. Just the furnace runs better with, with moving water. It pulls heat off the heat exchange tubes better. Up here is the exhaust fan that's running to draw the fresh air into the firebox. What we have here is a mock-up that we take to state fairs and trade shows um, to show how this system works. I have the hot water pumping in here on the red line uh, from the outdoor furnace coming through a plate exchanger that we use to heat your domestic water and then continue, that continues on over to the, your air handler or heat pump or gas furnace. But what I want to show you here on your domestic water, on a normal house this cold line would go directly into your water heater. We route it through this heat exchanger and preheat all the water that's going into the water heater before it heads on out to the house. But by doing that, you have un unlimited hot water. 
You can stay in a shower for an hour. You can melt your sidewalk with hot water if you want to in the winter time. Um, so a lot of people, they really like that feature of unlimited hot water. And after we do the domestic water, we would pump the loop over to the air handler, uh, heat pump, gas furnace, anything that forced air, uh, we can tie into boilers also. But we slide a, um, a copper coil, a water to air heat exchanger into the same ductwork that your heat pump has and place another thermostat on your wall that ties, turns on that air handler. So with this system, you can load the outdoor furnace, come in, turn the thermostat where you want it, and you're done. There's no valves to mess with. There's, it's completely automatic. So another feature that most folks aren't aware of is that an outdoor furnace can heat a pool. Um, this is a tube and shell heat exchanger that I'm using garden hoses to circulate through. Normally you would use the actual PVC piping with your pool pump. The filter system on your pool would route through a heat exchanger like this. This is a very small one I'm using here as a demo. Um, that we would route through there and put a temperature control on the pool line so that you can set your pool at say 84 degrees and your outdoor furnace will heat it to that temperature. So a lot of folks ask us what's the difference between the G series models and the GS series model. Um, the GS stands for, S stands for standard. It's their, basically their standard level. Um, it still has the same high efficiency reburn, the same um, vertical heat exchange tubes, a lot of the main features that work, have worked really well. On the G-Series, they've upgraded and added the sight glass, the external shaker handle, the smoke bypass, just some convenient features that some customers want to pay for. Some guys are trying to save every dollar. There's about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars difference between the, the two model lines. Um, so it's just something they've made an effort to try to help customers who are trying to save a buck. They're going to step up and try to to allow you to choose which way you want to go. For you guys that don't want to cut wood, um, we do offer, Heatmaster does offer a coal furnace, their C-Series model line. There's four different models. Um, it's got a large firebox. It's got a shaker grate, Nash pan. Um, so if you're not into cutting, um, and if you're in an area that, that you do have coal mines nearby, uh, that is another option that has pretty, been a pretty popular unit for us also. Heatmaster also offers a commercial line called the WF series. We're stocking the 4,000 square foot model and an 8,000 square foot unit. This is the bigger one. Uh, their goal with these commercial units was to develop a very, very simple, um, low maintenance, low learning curve type unit. Um, so they did very large firebox door, um, load the wood in, shovel ash out the same door. Um, it's not the most efficient furnace we offer, but it is something that an employee can learn very quickly and it's a lower cost unit. It gives a quick payback for a business that has a big shop or a greenhouse, something they want to heat quick um, and save them some money. Well, there you have it, folks. Heatmaster Outdoor Furnaces, in the nutshell, for Mr. Eldon Yoder. Eldon, thank you for your time. Yeah, for enjoyed sure. it. It's a beautiful place you got here. You'll be seeing me soon because I need one of these. I Absolutely. am tired of being cold in the winter. We will fix that.